got Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Occupy Amsterdam. Thank you for coming. We are very happy all together that everybody's here. We are here as individuals, not as an organization. Uh, we are here because we're angry. We're angry with the state of the world is in, angry at what the financial institutions have done to us. And uh, what we would like to do, because this is a demonstration, it's not organized by us. We are just a bunch of people that got together and decided to start stimulating people to come together, uh, to talk about it, to find solutions, and to tell the world what they think, what is going on. So I would like to uh, introduce you to come forward uh, as an individual and tell the people on this square what you are angry about. What is your problem? Why are you here today? Who is angry? Who is angry? Yeah. Who is angry? Wow! Yeah. I think I feel it's good to be aware that the world is being misled by rulers who operate by force. The solution, I believe, is a combination of more knowledge and love. So, making love is very important to carry the right vibe. However, if we spread anger, it's easy to get caught up in a divide and rule game between people and police. Furthermore, the potential of law transcends boundaries. Thus, if we feel law, we are far more dangerous for external rulers because a connection is there to be felt. But this love needs to be in balance with knowledge. For love without knowledge becomes stupidity. Knowledge without love is arrogance. Now about violence. The problem is that violence you use will be used as excuse to use violence against you. Even so when the police starts and also even when the mainstream media maintain a negative focus. Let me finish man, let me finish. One minute, one minute. <laughs> so, making love is very important to carry the right vibe. However, if we spread anger, it's easy to get caught up in a divide and rule game between people and police. Furthermore, the potential of love transcends boundaries. Thus, if we feel love, we are far more dangerous for external rulers because a connection is there to be felt. Yo, live in Gek Maga. I'm an English teacher, so I'm going to speak in English. Anyway, I'm an American, um, and I'm going to quote something in English, so that's why the rest of it is in English. About a hundred years or so ago, um, I think it was Matthew Arnold wrote something that I have quoted several times, and it's really important today. He wrote, the best have no convictions, and the worst are full of passionate intensity. And today, I think that what we have here, and what they have in New York, and in Los Angeles, and Seattle, and everywhere, it's a bunch of really good people, people like us, who have convictions, but we have convictions, and what we need is passionate intensity. So let's have it today, okay? Thank you. One more thing, Amsterdam. You are not alone here on this square today. In the entire world, there are over 900 cities this very day that are protesting the situation in the world and the financial institutions. Hi. I won't speak English because it's easy for me. I'm not Russian, by the way. Uh, I would like to tell you just a little thing. Um, I'll start with something from the Bible. I'm not a Christian. But I'll start something from the Bible. There says in the Bible that knowing God is knowing love. When you don't know love, you don't know God. And then the people who preach in church are discriminating against other religions. The people who are carrying crosses are turning into police and saying that Muslims are the crime. 
the people who go to mosques are praying to Allah and still telling me that if I go to church, I'm a sinner. I'm an illegal alien. <laughs> yes, you can touch me, you can look at me. This is what an illegal alien looks like. <laughs> when uh, people, people brainwashed by these distances between us, that foreigners are there, we are legal here. Look at me, they say, you are a legal alien? Really? You don't look like it. But what does an illegal alien look like? I just want to remind all of you that we are people, and if we know God, we know love. If we know love, we know God, and there's nothing else. Thank you. Okay, uh, I would like to say one solution. Uh, one solution is uh, unity. Uh, unity beside of uh, our point of views, uh, beside of uh, our way of doing. Um, so I will sing a song about it. One struggle, one fight. Solidarity is our power. One struggle, one fight. Love, hearts, and freedom are our rights. One struggle, one fight. Together we are stronger. One struggle, one fight. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. Our freedom, our rights, our love, our lives. One struggle, one fight. Solidarity is our power. One struggle, one fight. Love, house, and freedom are our rights. One struggle, one fight. Together we are stronger. One struggle, one fight. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. Our future, our hopes, our dreams, our homes. We never gonna give up. 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 Yeah. So, uh, I would just like to say another solution. Uh, there are many hungry children uh, dying uh, uh, every day. Uh, one woman said uh, that before. And uh, I would like to say solution. Uh, uh, every time when you don't eat uh, meat, uh, you feed uh, 16 children uh, uh, in that time. Uh, 16 children. Uh, whose uh, food uh, was taken away uh, because uh, to feed, uh, to produce one kilo of meat, we uh, have to use the 16 kilo of uh, corn, soya, or uh, other grains what uh, could be eaten uh, by those children and what uh, are coming from the countries where there is hunger. Okay, thank you. Things I do know today. Pollution, war, and hunger. There must be another way. Children of the world, your time has come to create a new world. Cause the old one is done. And start ask questions. Are the children of today, and that is us, children of the world. 
No government is going to help you because they a long time have been bought by other companies. Also hospitals, schools, everything is ruled by all those companies. So believe no one. What is happening here is not a bunch of idiots. This is just the beginning of also a new revolution in the old world. We are not poor here yet because our governments is going to let them steal everything from us. We won't let it happen. Every time they steal a bit more, the movement is growing a bit more. Until everyone, like the 99%, is part of us. So, we take over government. You are nothing anymore. We don't believe you anymore. But Everybody needs to remember that as long as we are followers, we can be led in the wrong direction and so it is time for each and every one of us to become a leader yes! every single person in this movement yes! and if you follow your conscience then you can never be led astray thank you